Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So the main fundamentals that everyone wants to be aware about today is obviously it's the FOMC tonight and you've also got the Bank of England at lunchtime later on today. FOMC should be quite interesting because Treasury bonds are moving in such a way that the market seems to think that today's statement might come with it slightly more hawkish uh, copy than what might have been initially expected. So not like a rate hike, but the, but the statement might be slightly more bullish on uh, future rate hikes than what the market was initially expecting. And uh, that's having a bit of a knock-on effect on the US dollar, especially on gold. And uh, you've seen crude oil prices just take a little bit of a tumble as well, but that's mainly on the back of uh, the uh, unlikely cap of production from Iran. So most of the global equity markets, the US market has been slowly grinding higher. Other European markets have been struggling that a little bit more, but let's go ahead and look at things from a technical perspective uh, to give you more idea of what's going on. So looking at the US 30, you can see there, it's just been slowly moving higher. Quite a volatile session there yesterday, still managed to post positive, again positive, 87% of CMC market clients are currently short, uh, but this, this has got all the hallmarks of the slow grind, slightly higher, but tonight's FOMC might put the cat amongst the pigeons, depending on that statement. Other technical indicators are definitely slightly oversold anyway, uh, but there's not yet a signal to sell. Moving quickly on to the UK 100, uh, you can just see that that volatility sold off yesterday, uh, posted a negative day, tips of these candles are still showing a slight edge lower, 60, 70 is the next potential support level, CMC clients are almost 50-50. Moving quickly on to the Japan 225, it had a bit of a reversal yesterday as the yen uh, started to gain momentum. Still doubts about the, uh, the strength of the Japanese economy. We are looking at 16896 as the next potential support. Again, 53% of CMC market clients are currently short, showing indecision. Moving quickly on to dollar yen. Dollar yen is still trading within this triangle formation. Uh, it pretty much touched the bottom of that range yesterday. Uh, it was very volatile again. Other technicals are relatively neutral. We're waiting for a break on either side and it's gonna be hugging that 21 period SME. Uh, well, it looks like that's what it's gonna be doing for the next number of sessions. 57% of CMC market clients are currently long. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, um, we actually had this kind of move lower, almost touching 35.13 yesterday. Uh, I managed to close a little bit higher, but still negative territory. It's in positive territory right now, uh, but looking at this candle, it's not exactly the strongest. Slow stochastic is slowly edging down towards that 80% level, and the MACD histogram is getting lower and lower, so you might be getting that crossover at some point soon. 60% of CMC market clients are currently short, so they're anticipating a move back down to 30 spot 13. 35 spot 13 and potentially move below that as well. Then having a, look at, a quick look at gold, uh, gold has really been struggling the last couple of sessions. It broke uh, below the 21 period SMA. Other technicals are, are edging slightly lower. Uh, yesterday's, uh, Monday's movement actually was the worst day. Yesterday it was still negative, but off the session lows, again, it's already gone negative so far today. Uh, next potential support is at $1,191. And then moving on to euro dollar and GBP USD. So euro dollar on the wrong side of potential support at one spot 11. Um, it pretty much closed in the line yesterday. It's just slowly drifting lower so far this morning. Uh, you might be looking at that 21 period SMA to provide short term potential support. And then finishing up with GBP USD uh, is pretty much falling on the backside right now as uh, the latest opinion polls for the British exit uh, is actually showing the British exit edging ahead in the polls, and that's obviously going to be hurting GBP longer term. Uh, next potential support, one spot 3840, and it is a technical break below one spot 4129 right now, though it's not closed, but it is below that 21 period SMA. Remember, today you've got the Bank of England uh, around about lunchtime and the FOMC uh, around about 7 pm UK time as well, uh, with that statement from Janet Yellen to look forward to. Well, that's it for me, guys. Very good luck with your trading. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.